Hi guys, I'm back with my nail fantasy and I'm happy that you are here as well. Let's have fun with our nails and today is International Day of Ice Cream, yummy ice cream. So Mary and me, we decided we would do another nail art collaboration. And if you like to see what I did and how I did it, just stay tuned. It's International Ice Cream Day today. So Mary and I decided we will do another nail art collaboration on our YouTubers and Instagram, Facebook group and Instagram page. If you would like to join us, you are more than welcome. Everyone is welcome to join us in our collabs. Just check out the links below to our Facebook group and to our Instagram group or Instagram page. <laughs> and there will you... There will you... There you will find all the information and we will announce all collaborations well in advance on the Instagram page and on the Facebook group so you can always join us. This time a lot of talented ladies joined us again. Thank you so much. You will see the beautiful collage that Mary did for all of us at the beginning and at the end. So you can check out all the designs the ladies came up with. It's always amazing to me to see all the creative designs we get and how much care everyone takes to come up with beautiful nails for us to enjoy. So let's get started. What did I do? I started out with a nail base coat as always and then I did a gradient. So I used a cuticle guard this time from Beauty Big Bang. I bought this one in a sale and it worked out really nice. You're gonna see it in the video part which comes after the intro. Then I have used three pastel colors from models own and they are the scented polishes but they don't really smell that much when you have them on your nails so we have the banana split the apple pie and the strawberry tart for me that's like banana ice cream then we have strawberry ice cream and the green maybe pistachio ice cream after i put on this gradient with a fan brush I used a gorgeous pixie dust glitter from She Modern. Tina sent me some wonderful products. I will do some more videos with those. So check that out. They will be coming up in the following weeks. This one is the Pixie Iridescent Dazzling Sparkle and it really is dazzling. Look at that. It's so pretty and it gives you just a gorgeous effect on the nails. You will see that also in the video part, how gorgeous this looks. Whenever I use something with glitter or with powders, I first put on my Orly Bonder base coat so they stick to that and that worked out wonderful again. So I work with regular polishes. I don't have something to adhere to. That's why I use the Orly Bonder. Afterwards, I use the weekly top coat from CND Vinylux. And I'm gonna stamp today with Sharpies. So that's something new. Everybody is doing that on Instagram, on YouTube. I also have a special video coming up how, where I explain it a little more. That will be up next week. The reason I'm not gonna go into that in detail now, you will see how I do it, but I'm not gonna explain anything really is because this is a nail art collaboration video, so I don't wanna make that too long. So check out the video next week on those. I stamped with the holographic polish from Andromeda, no. <laughs> from Esmaltas de Cali and this is Andromeda. This is the holographic stamping polish and this gives the Sharpie a nice really uh, almost holo look. It's not that much visible. Well, it's not visible that much but it comes out differently than when you stamp with a white or a black stamping polish. And I used again one of these XL stamping plates from Beauty Big Bang. This time I used the plate number 002. Great beach and summer designs and I used here the ice cream cones, the different ones. And for my accent nails I used this ice cream cone down below here. 
So these plates I had a giveaway for the new XL stamping plates. There are eight plates available. I will link that video in the end in case you haven't seen the plates. I'm not gonna do individual swatches for all the plates. I thought I rather do nail arts with the plates so you see them in action and you will see that right now because we are going into the stamping right now. As always I will speed up the video so sit back, relax, enjoy, get a drink or get some ice cream and I'll see you afterwards with the finished nails.
and I'm back. I have created my gradient. I have stamped everything. I have put on this gorgeous pixie dust from She Modern, and I think it turned out really nice, adorable. I love it. What I found is that the gradient, when you do it directly on your nails with the fan brush, even with the cuticle guard here, it's creating a lot of mess. You have to do a lot of cleanup because you just have too much polish on your nails when you do it like that. What works out better is you put the polishes on your nail art mat here and then you just blend them together with your fan brush then you take them up with the stamper and you stamp them on your nails and you just repeat that until you have the desired yeah, colors or if they are not opaque yet you go over them two or three times I think I did three coats here on my nails so on my left hand I did it on my nails here with the fan brush that's what I filmed and on the right hand I did it on the nail art mat that's much less mess however it could be me that's creating the mess so I don't know about that you have to try that if you try something like that that that's it already. Did I miss something? No. Here are my nails. <laughs> what do you think? I really love the little nail cones or <laughs> nail cones. I really love the little ice cream cones and with the Sharpies you can color every part of a design differently. That comes out really nice and now Zoro wants to see my nails so he's on the side. Might be coming in right now. Zoro, what's going on? What's going on? Come on here. No. What are you doing? Huh? So you you hear him. He's right beside my iPad here. No. <laughs> that happens with cats. They are always nosy. They always have to see what's going on. Right? Right? Come. No? No? Does he make a guest appearance? No, I don't think so. Hmm? Oh no, come on. <laughs> No, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I have to put him so he says bye bye, bye bye, and goes. <laughs> so, okay, the cat is out of the picture. <sighs> Where was I? <laughs> yeah, creating this mess. And then I think I covered everything. The plate worked out perfect again these plates have a very good quality they are very nicely etched and that's it already for this video thanks to all the participants i will put the collage at the end of the video as well so don't forget to check out all the designs of all the ladies the links to the instagram participants and the links to all the youtube participants are listed below in the information box also all the info on our facebook and instagram page if you want to join us you are more than welcome to do so if you have any further questions or comments just leave them in the comments box below i hope you enjoyed our ice cream nail art collab <laughs> that was it for today Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, an ice cream thumbs up today. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. My picture will be popping up at the end of the video. You can click on that, doesn't cost you anything and you will not miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a wonderful summertime with lots of ice cream to enjoy and ta-ta till next time. <laughs>